Hey guys, so I just wanted to check out the Sony Xperia XZS phone. This is a new phone from Sony. Uh, we haven't had many new phones from Sony recently. They've been uh, quite uh, quiet. Uh, but this one, XZS, has come out recently uh, and will come with the XZ Premium, which is also due to come out very soon. Uh, so this one is like a buffed up version of the XZ, which was a fantastic phone in 2016. And you can see still uh, you know, comes with a very attractive design here. Uh, so we're going to check it out, the XCS, see you know, what it uh, brings to the table. I think uh, it's coming with uh, like uh, more RAM, a better camera and uh, a little bit newer in terms of design. So it should be quite interesting. And it's not very ava available. I've got to say you might uh, have to you know, go some lengths to get one right now. But it probably will become more available soon. I know the XC Premium will be coming out, I think, early June. So, I'm just going to unbox this one. And you can see we are having a silver device here, which looks very good on first presentation. We do like uh, Sony's presentation here. Wow. So this is a uh, you know, very uh, nicely designed piece of aluminium. I mean, that uh, is very beautiful. I mean, Sony's not obviously going with the bezel-less kind of design uh, like some of the manufacturers, but they do have a knack of making their phones look very good overall uh, in any case. So, you know, you can see we're getting a slightly bigger bulge here for the camera, uh, which does house the slow motion Technology. I think it can do super slow motion, uh, which is very interesting. So typical stuff when it comes to your box and stuff. So what is this? Uh, we are getting a charging cable, as you can see, and also some very cheap looking earphones. I've got to say, I mean they don't look uh, very high quality. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing. I remember the days when we used to get the high-res earphones from Sony. Uh, we get a charger here, which looks like it's a quick charge 3.0, as you can see. Uh, so let's uh, just tidy up the desk here and have a look at the phone. The silver boy. So. Xperia, 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 what can you do for me? So let's see. Oh, that does look good, I've got to say. I mean, look at that. That is a very nice build quality. Would have been nice if they're using you know, the most up-to-date spec in the smaller version of their flagship phone. I mean, it is a two-year-old processor, but I mean, it does look very delicious, got to say. Very delicious indeed. So type C and the NFC sticker. So nice uh, typical Sony design here, Omni Balance. And uh, I, I do wish that in future they probably you know get rid of some of this bezel because we are seeing that with LG and Samsung. Uh, but they definitely can keep the back here. The back still looks amazing overall. Uh, we can just do a little build quality comparison here with the old version. And you can see the old version does come with a slightly less raised camera hump, uh, which, you know, yes, that's down to preference, which one you prefer. It could result in less, uh, like, scratches, etc. on the lens. Uh, the actual uh, build feels quite similar here, so not too much in the way of difference. Uh, so I think the old XC still looks very good, you know, even though it is an older phone. and going to talk. So I should really clean my uh, table here a little bit. It's getting a bit overused. I've broken a leg on it as well. Uh, but you can see we are booting up here on the, the XCS. We're getting the typical Sony logo. I'm guessing it's going to be quite a uh, typical start shot. 
wonder if it's running the latest uh, Android, that would be very interesting. Uh, they definitely had plenty of time to, you know, get it on. So I really like the silver colour here, it kind of blends in with my table. It's like a, it's kind of like a silverish, goldish colour, uh, hard to describe. So we do get a fingerprint scanner, you might not abroad. Xperia Intelligence Engine. Nice. So it'd probably be some sort of AI. Adding the finishing touches. What is the ooh? What is the internal storage of the phone? Uh, so this is the actual interface. It looks actually quite different, I've got to say. Sony's been uh, tinkering, it seems, here. So we'll just put the brightness up a little bit. In fact, we'll put it down again. Very bright display. Uh, so let's have a look here. Similar in terms of the app drawer. Uh, let's have a look at the software. It does look like it is Android Nugget. Uh, yes, Android 7.1.1. Very nice. I think that is uh, pretty recent. Uh, overall, model number G8232. And uh, you can see, nice fluid operation here. In terms of going into stuff. Still using the same kind of camera UI. Uh, which we'll check out in a bit. So I'm guessing it wants to show you know where I am here, and you do have this startup uh, thing as well. If you're coming from a different uh, you know uh, stuff here, so you can change your theme, put the security on, and uh, you know rate that, and then technically it should disappear, as I remember or you have to do it yourself. There you go. So, let's uh, have a look at some of the themes here. Oh, nice new wallpapers, as you can see. I think the brightness is still a bit too high. Very bright display, I've got to say. I mean, it is the IPS LCD, but it does get very bright. And this one, you can see, very nice uh, dark UI. And uh, we do have this one. So it definitely made an effort here in terms of putting some new wallpapers on, which you know is very good to see. And uh, which one I'm going to choose for now? Probably this one. It's quite neutral. Uh, what else can we check out here? So we have a few notices. Uh, do we get the Bravia technology, etc., in the settings? Uh, so you can see X reality still super vivid mode. We'll have some of that, and uh, you can see pretty standard affair when it comes to the settings. Uh, I'm guessing we get uh, the same in terms of the equalizer, all the Sony good stuff as you can see. Nice stuff, and the equalizer. And your surround sound, uh, so it's all there still, which is good. Uh, you should have a look at the camera as well. So, uh, I think this is a slightly different sensor in terms of what they're using IMAX 400 series. So, expecting good things out of it, but we do know Sony sometimes does a little bit weird when it comes to the processing side of things. Image looks sharp enough, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at some of the modes. So you still have your AR effect, as you can see. And what's this? Super slow motion. That is the main thing, I think. Here, 960 frames per second. 
so tap the button and send it at the right moment. Hmm. You do have a physical uh, button as well at the top. Uh, so we're just going to stop this and have a look at the result. So it makes me sound crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to mute it. Don't want to hear myself on here. Uh, so when you press it, the slow motion kicks in. You can see. So I'll have some fun with that, I think, uh, checking it out, you know, seeing how it is. Camera's been getting some good reviews overall. Uh, I think uh, they've done quite well with it. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick unboxing. First look of the XZS phone. If you've got any questions, want to see anything, do let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.